Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own wall composites in ARCHICAD 18. So, if you have your regular ARCHICAD libraries, when you use your wall tool, here, and when the structure of the wall is composite, so not this or this but this in the middle this is the composite wall structure then here you have a number of options that you can use so let's say we select a wall and then we want to change it this changes the fill of the wall it changes the dimension it changes a lot of things so if among these options you don't find the one that you want to use here is how you can create a custom one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to options, element attributes, composites. Uh, and let's say we're gonna start with from this option, generic wall shell. So I'm gonna duplicate it first and I'm gonna say just wall one. Okay? And then for, maybe I want it to have this, I want it to be not as uh, thick as it is right now, so maybe 0 0.20, so 20 centimeters. Maybe for the insulation, I want to, maybe this I want it to be an insulation, so I'm going to change it. And I'm going to make it thicker a bit, maybe 0 0.1. And maybe I want to add another skin and I'm going to just click here on insert. I'm going to select the skin that I want it to be here. And let's say I want this to be 0 0.02 for, I don't know, interior plaster or whatever. And I'm going to just pick another material from here. So let's say which one should we pick? Plaster. So now you have your wall, your custom composite structure. Here you can edit as you can see this little arrow moves as I switch between these. You can change the lines of the wall. So I want this exterior one to be a black 0 0.5 Thick, or maybe that's a bit too thick, let's say 0 0.25 millimeters and this most outer one as well I want it to be pretty thick and you get the idea, this one I want it to be thinner this one again I want it to be black but thinner as you can see this is 0 0.13 millimeters thick that is depending on your color uh, palette for the insulation I want it to be gray also here I want this to be gray maybe a bit darker and this should be gray as well so I'm just gonna click OK I'm gonna select our wall as you can see here we have the uh, composite structure we just created. So I'm going to hit on wall and here you have the three skins that we just did that we designed before. So this is 20 centimeters thick, the insulation 10 and the interior plaster 0.2 centimeters. If you want to change and I'm pretty sure you would want to change the colors of this what you have to do is change the materials of the uh, of the um, materials you just used in the composite. So let's go here. I'm gonna select the wall that I am working with, and here we have the insul insulation thermal thermal break. I'm gonna hit Escape, and then Options, Element Attributes, build Building Materials. And I'm going to go to insulation thermal break and here I want to change this 
to maybe this gray and I'm gonna say fill orientation to element origin so that it's always oriented according to my element to my wall and I'm gonna click OK as you can see now it's a bit it's gray but I don't like the fact that it's so uh, it's not looking as good as it did before it's not the dimension that it should be so maybe I should go back to building materials and here put fit to skin in this case it just fits better okay now we're gonna go to and see what material we have in the middle part the middle part where normally you would have brick it's generic structural material and I hit escape element attributes building materials generic structural and this maybe I don't want it to be just a simple fill I want it to be let's say masonry block the fill of it and I want it to be filled with the black color and I click OK and this is how it looks and the most outer part I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is in order to see the true line weight I'm just going to do that, which in this case I can see that this line is way too thick, the one most on the outside. So I'm going to go to Options, Element Attributes, Composites, and I'm going to go to Wall 1, and I'm going to change this to be 1 thickness. And I'm going to click OK, and as you can see, maybe I'm going to have to change the wall, the line thicknesses even more so they are a bit thinner so composites wall one and here I'm gonna put a thinner line so let's say one that's 13 here one that's 13 as well I'm gonna click OK and now you can see the the wall structure a little bit better so basically this is how you can create the the structure of your wall so that it would be according to how you need it to be also this will appear in section so if we draw a section and we open it it will look just the same so this makes drafting way easier because everything is um, created with the necessary layers I'm going to delete that section because I don't need it there. But yeah, that is what I wanted to show you in this video. Hope this helped. Bye.